Ham and TV are giving you the West Ham vs Everton review. It's 1-0 West Ham. Game finished. Game done and dusted. New year. New game. First goal that everyone's happy with. But we're still 10th in the league. But we're 5th in with that. We're that so close to Europa League. And that's what we need from this year. To get Europa League. We shouldn't care about teams in the bottom of the half of the league. We shouldn't care about the teams that's fine for the top. Because that's the thing. When we know, we know our standards. We know, we know if we're fighting for the Premier League title, we're not going to, that's our poison. Because we, we know the team that's fighting for the Premier League title. We know who's the team that's fighting for, you know, for the relegation battle. But we want to get into the Europa League. We're a team that's, that's fighting for the Europa League. And that's what Moyes can bring. He finally got his deluded mind out of the cave and finally and think, OK, we have to win the game. This is a revenge story. Everton beating us 4-1 in the Carabao Cup. But we beat them 1-0, 85 minutes against against Everton, 1-0 by Suchek. We warned you about Suchek. People who come against West Ham, yeah. Teams are coming up against West Ham. We warn you. We warn you about Suchek. Chelsea didn't listen. They're trying to beat them 3 2. We warned you so many times about Suchek. And this is what happens. Magnet has Bruno Fernandes. We have Suchek. I'm not saying Bruno Fernandes is better than Suchek. Sorry. I'm not saying vice versa. Suchek is better than Bruno Fernandes. Because Fernandes is better. But for me, I still think Suchek is the most underrated player in the Premier League. Because the thing is, when you talk about Man United, you think about um, Fernandes. You don't think about their history. You think about Liverpool, you think about Van Dijk. You think about Tottenham, you think about Kane. But he's the most underrated player in the Premier League to me. And people don't talk about Suchek, how he is. You know, coming from Slavia, Prague. And, you know, five goals from the Premier League this season. It's always been goals. You look at the Brighton game, he saved us. You look at this game, he saved us. And that's what we need to end our right. The full, last four games we played, we, we drawn three, lost one. We should win those games. We should have beaten Brighton because of that stupid VAR mistake. We should have beaten Chelsea, but VAR intervened again. But finally... We don't need VAR. We don't like Manchester United and Liverpool who rely on VAR to help them win the um, matches. Where West Ham United, VAR can like cry because we, we, we won our match. VAR can be upset, they can throw the toys in the pram, but we won that match. And I don't care because that's West Ham United. We need to that victory more than Everton. Elton didn't do good this in this match. There was like passing from sides. They weren't they weren't enough they weren't as a big team as when they played um against us four one. I'm just playing the main I'm just um but that's the thing. We came to Everton, we got the victory, everyone's happy. Um the first half I don't know what I'm trying to say for the first half is that first half, what I don't get is that we didn't, we pushed back with the players of Ben Rama, Fornals, Halle, we pushed back and Bowen. Like most of the time I saw Halle, Ben Rama, Fornals pushing back and I'm thinking, why are you pushing back? Why are you, why, are you, why aren't you? Sorry, the main man match started. I'm streaming the match. Um, why aren't he going for like attacking that match? Uh, David Moyes, he he knew that um Everton is not gonna be an attacking threat during the first time in the, in the half time. He knew he he after watching that performance, 
first half, he ha- he has to bring the big guns, and he knows the big guns is players like like Richard, um, Rodriguez. We he knows that we have to get the three points, but that's that's the thing. He has that winning mentality, and that's good because we haven't won and then the New Year's um, away game in six years. It's a fact. David Moyes hasn't even won at Everton at home at the um, Goodison Park since he left 2013 or 12. I don't know. But that's the thing. We keep pushing forward. We keep going to Everton. And we won the victory. That's how we brought on Lanzini, Yarmolenko and Antonio. Because if we... If we had Halle, if we had Fornals, if we had Bowen, it would have been a point disaster. But we have to... We, we knew we were going to get a free point somewhere. And going to Everton is a massive success. 26 points. Look at the Southampton game they've got next. Liverpool. Liverpool's a good team. Um, if Man United win today, they'll be second. But if Liverpool, if Man United draw this today, then Liverpool are first. Look at Man City. Their next game is Chelsea at, uh, away. They're gonna, they they might struggle, but if you, again, if you think about it, Man City had like, two games in hand. They didn't play in the week um week. Sorry. I mean, look at Leeds. They are at home against Spurs. You know, the scumbag SC Spurs. But that's the thing. A victory is victory. Came out on top. We got the first goal. In, we, got, actually, we got the first goal of the new year. Everyone's happy because of the new year. I'm over the moon. Um, the Moisaya extract again. It's, it's something that we need. And the kind of thing. Um, Everton... Our fourth in the league, and we showed to Everton to win a football match. You need to strike a lot. What um the Cobra Kai motto: strike hard, no mercy. We were the one that showed mer- no mercy to Everton. Everton didn't show mer- mercy. They begged to God that they get a point, but they didn't. Um, Fabianski got injured in the, in, during the warm up. I did not know that I was watching Cobra Kai. Um, before I took the team news, and I am sad to see Fabianski to be injured. He was injured last season, but we have no Roberto, um, because he left. To a Spanish club, um, the main our team are doing their, the main arms team are doing their um, Black Lives Matter, so. And the match started, um, main arms was Aston Villa four two three one four two four four two, um, the um, team is the hand goal Luke Shaw Maguire Bailey and, um, my second defenders. Pogba, by friend Fred Bruno Fernandes McTominay as midfielders and Anthony Martial and Rashford in attackers. Um Villa's formation and four two three one. Um, Emil Martinez is in goal. Um Target Mings Concert Cash is in defence. Louise McGinn is in midfielders and Al Ghazi Grealish and Bertrand, Tyre always still midfielders and Ollie Watkins are going up front. Um, so about that, just reading team news. Um, this is actually a massive game to, for us to win. And now we've got teams that are fighting for the relegation battle. We've got Stokes, um, Stockport County, who... Oh, wow, they're, they're attacking. Um, Millionaire was attacking... Um, I almost had a shot. Um, don't, I'm not going to do a live stream right now with Aston Villa because they've got a life. Um, 
Stop all count next games, three games. It's too easy. Stop all county on Monday. What we got? We got we got enough to prepare for. I don't know who Stockport County is playing against um, next after they play against us. But I hope they lose because, well, you know, I know National League so we can win. Um, let me just check off the next fixtures. Fixtures wise. Okay, fixture wise. Time, what's time, what's time, what's time, what's time, what's time, um, by the way, the reason why I didn't do the predictions for match day 17, because I wanted everyone to have a relaxing, yeah, yeah, but I wanted to have fun and relax, so West Ham's, okay, West Ham, uh, fixtures are, so we got Stockport County on Monday the eleventh. We got a week off because of the there is another Premier League games going on, but we're not playing because we're only playing at second half. Um, we've got Burnley at home, and West Brom. So easier ball winning ball games, and if we win against Burnley and West Brom, then that means we are. Thirty two points. We will get I think we'll get thirty two points in our next two games. And everyone's happy. Um thanks guys for watching this video. If you have a good have you have a good new year. Um I will do a Stockport County review preview. I'm obviously gonna do a, a, a small preview on Stockport County because well don't even know who Stockport County's got. Let me check. Stock. I never heard of them. Stop. Stockport County FC fixtures. Well, stop. I never heard of them. They are. I think they. Are. Yeah. I don't even. Uh. Yeah. They're in the Greater Manchester area. I don't even. No, they got okay. Next fixtures. Okay, yeah, just check. They have got a match tomorrow against Old Trincham FC um, at home. Um, so if we, it, it's I think it's gonna be an easier ball winnable game against. It's gonna no, no, sorry, they've got. Ultra Gym at home, they got easily, they got, so they got a massive, um, so they got a weakness because they got a two game. So, so while we got a one, so while we get a week off on the F next week, um, from, so, so while we get a week off from January. Um, second, so Jackson, the January second, um, seven. Yeah, well, we get nine days off from the Premier League from um leave league action. They get. They get what. Seven games. So seven days off. So it's um squad. Let me see if they. <laughs> so okay, I don't know any of them. Um, generally. Um, yeah, I don't know any of these guys. Never heard of them. I don't even know if they ever been on FIFA or PES. But no, um, I don't even know their manager, Jim Gannon. So, 
don't even know any of them, to be honest with you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Um, yeah, again, I hope you have a great New Year's. Um, I'm going to have a great nine days off of thinking, you know, we got 26 points and everyone's happy. Um, to those people that died in 2020, um, I um, because of COVID, um, RIP, because it's sad to lose someone during COVID and, and actually it's sad to lose anyone in any situation. So, um, Black Lives Matter and, um, thanks to NH NHS and key workers, um, people that got coronavirus or in a household of coronavirus, I hope you guys, um, stay safe. Um, yeah. Peace. I'm out.